Hello, my shining stars. Hello, sir. Please be seated. Good morning, sir. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, my dear students. Since today is the Teachers' Day, you extended your gratitude and respect on the occasion. Thank you very much. And uh, being a teacher, I want to see you. See smile on your face and see you doing academically one of the best student in the world. So my best wishes on this particular day. And before continuing the class, do you want to say something? Which can I chat? Okay. So in general cartography, we were discussing the general cartography that is the very first uh, introductory topic. I gave you some detailed information in my earlier classes. So let's start the general cartography. I will just say it is fifth line. Dear students, geography. Geography, why we are studying geography? It is basically geography is the discipline which interpret the correlation on the earth surface or the variations on the earth surface or the aerial differentiation of the earth surface and the spatial analysis of the landscape in temporal perspective with different time. Nothing is stable on the earth. Everything is changing. How it is changing? Why it is changing? We find logical justification. So we have the branches of geography like we have physical geography. Within physical geography, we have geomorphology, climatology, oceanography, uh, pedology, soil, you can say soil science, or the vegetation, or the drainage system, water, hydrology, these are the branches of physical geography. Simultaneously, we have the economic geography, where we study the variations in the human economic activities. In some of the areas, most of the people they are doing agricultural activities, some of the areas they are doing industrial activities, some of the areas they are doing trade, commerce, transport related activities. So the mode of livelihood is entirely different in different parts of the world. It is because of the different geographical conditions. Sab log alag -alag kaam karte hai. Even the farming, the farmer, farmer of USA, they are doing different farming to the farming of uh, India. So how to prove the difference uh, uh, like uh, in, in farming activities, the difference, what type of farming? In USA farmers are doing commercial farming, commercial grain farming. We are doing subsistence, we are doing mixed farming, we are like a mixed uh, uh, agriculture, like we, we rear the livestock, we grow the crops, we do the horticulture, agroforestry, several activities we do simultaneously for our survival. So the pattern of agriculture is entirely different in different parts of the world. So that is one agriculture geography. Under economic geography, we study agriculture geography as important source of livelihood, economic activity. And subsequently, we have uh, industrial geography, we have trade and commerce geography, we have transport geography. So we have the different uh, economic activities. Apart from economic activities, we have uh, human geography also. One of the branch of geography, human geography, we study the settlement, population, population growth, population uh, population uh, uh, growth rate and the pattern of population how it changes please wait for a moment because we have occupied the class of other teachers so i request so 
in a human geography, we study the population, distribution of population, growth rate of population, density of population, fertility rate, mortality rate, migration from one place to another, intercontinental migration, inter-country migration, interstate migration, intrastate migration, local migration, seasonal migration, forced migration, refugee migration, different type of migration. We study the population. We study the settlement, whether rural, urban. Within rural, we have the different type, type of rural, compact settlement, dispersed settlement, uh, isolated settlement, agglomerated settlement, hamleted settlement, the different type of settlement. Similarly, we have uh, the, the cultural geography, different cultural regions are there in the country, like in India. Sometimes we use that word, different cultural region. Say, if I say Bundelkhand, Rudelkhand, Baghelkhand, uh, and the uh, Telangana region, Marathwada region, or uh, uh, Marwad region, Mehwad region, Sekhavati region, all these are the name of the cultural regions. So we study the human geography, we study the economic geography, we study the physical geography. But nothing is stable on this earth. We study in all the, 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 the theme I uh, let, let you know that जो मैं अभी तक मैंने आपको बताया था उसमें चाहे भौतिक भूगोल हो फिजिकल ज्योग्राफी हो चाहे ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी हो चाहे मानव भूगोल हो चाहे आर्थिक भूगोल हो हम कंपेयर करते हैं दो रीजन्स का हम ये चेंज पता लगाते हैं वाई चेंज इज टेकिंग प्लेस एंड वी गिव लॉजिकल जस्टिफिकेशन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ जोग्राफिकल टूल्स एंड सो दर्थ द लैंडस्केप इज ए बिग लैंड मार्स how to interpret, how to compare on the paper. So we make the maps on the paper and to show the difference, to show the uh, interpretation. So the interpretation of different reasons, the changes whatever they are taking place on space and temporal perspective, on spatial and temporal perspective. Jaha aap baithe huye hai, kabhi yaha tachis si tha, aaj yaha Gangetic plain है, all deposited by the clastic sediments deposited by the Ganga and Yamuna and all the Himalayan rivers. It converted into a plain. So ocean converted into the plain. How it it became possible? How it happened? There is a sequence, and that sequence is we can say by interpreting the sequence we use tools. The most important tool in the geography is maps. Constructing the map, on the map we, we, we make the differences, we prepare the different type of map, different size of the map, different theme of the map, different scale of the map, and just as per our convenience. So the construction of map is one uh, technique to, to prove it. study Proof करने के लिए map is one of the important technique. It's it's one of the modus operandi to understand the geographical phenomena. Second is data mining and data collection and data analysis. We use statistical techniques. So statistical techniques are also there to to like in a statistical perspective. This is one of the technique. Apart from the third technique is we use nowadays we use satellite data. We collect the satellite images, we collect the data from the aerial photograph, and we interpret with the help of GIS softwares. So GIS and remote sensing is another technique. But we will study the basic technique of maps. So map that is called general cartography. Uh, so I'll start the general cartography. Why we study cartography? I just try to simplify. Dear students, please open the windows. It's getting very sultry and scorching heat, like in Delhi. And, and monsoon, it is that phase when the monsoon has withdrawn from North India. There is no rain and uh, temperature is substantially high because of high moisture level. Uh, so, 
Uh, okay. Now let's come uh, to the map. We just simply study the maps in geography. But what are the different components of the map? How to construct the map? Whether that the, the requirement of map for a particular purpose uh, that, that, that map is fulfilling your need or not. So that is basically the most important components of map. So uh, I, I, I may say components of map. Components of maps. The first component of map, as I already told you, the location. But, uh, that, that location determines the latitude, longitude, or the grid system. The grid system. So every map, we have, we don't know uh, the, 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 what type of map we need for a particular purpose. If we wanted to show the trade of the world or the oceans of the world, so we need a map of the world. Their oceans are there, all the oceans, Pacific, Atlantic, Indian Ocean, Arctic Sea, Antarctic Ocean, Arctic Ocean, all are shown. So we need a map of the world. If we want to, uh, uh, to represent the trade routes of the world, or the, so we need the map of the world. But if you want to study the, uh, say, crime pattern of Delhi or the transport of Delhi, so we need the map of Delhi city only, not the world. So for both the maps, when we need the map of Delhi only, a small area, or the map of the world, or map of India, if we want to show the map, the soil distribution of India, so we need the map of India. पूरे इंडिया का मैप चाहिए या वर्ल्ड का मैप चाहिए या एक छोटे से सिटी का मैप चाहिए या इफ यू नीड द मैप ऑफ दिस कॉलेज होली सिवाजी कॉलेज स्मॉल मैप सो वी नीड डिफरेंट स्केल्स डिफरेंट लेटिट्यूड डिफरेंट लोकेशन डिफरेंट ग्रेड एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्शंस वी नीड द डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्� it depends on the size of the map, size of area, how much area we need to represent. Kitne bade area ko hum dikhana chahte hain. So every map has the grid system, the longitude and latitude. I already explained to you earlier on the earth. So there is the latitude, that is geo degree equator, that is called. 40,075 kilometer great circle of the earth. The largest circle of the earth because earth is in spherical shape, it is having the maximum circumference at equator. That is 40,075 kilometer. So this is called big, uh, great circle and this is equator. So basically in equator we have the latitudes. Latitudes are the circles. Circles around the globe, like like I, I would say one circle, and we go to the north, circle size becomes smaller, smaller, and at the north. In the southern side, this is the biggest circle, this is smaller, this is smaller, this is smaller, this is smaller, this, so this is the dot. So from dot to the biggest circle here, this is zero degree, and this is 90 degree north. So these are the circles. So here they look like, because at one time from one side, we can see the 50% of the earth. We cannot see the entire earth. If we see the earth from one side, we can see the earth maximum 50%. So if 50% of the earth is shown, 50% of the earth is shown, 50% of the earth is shown, 50% of the earth is shown. Actually this is circular, complete. This equator is a complete circle. So this is the one circle and these are the latitudes, they are circular, they in shape, they, they are up to 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees south and this is same here, this circle and this is 90 degrees north. 
So we have the latitude 90 degree plus 90 degree north and 90 degree south. We have the latitudes. And similarly, these are these are always the parallel lines, parallel to each other. So these latitudes are parallel to each other. You can see the parallels here. So 90 and here from north south north pole to south pole. The semi circle, the semi, they are in semi circle, not the complete circle. They are called longitudes. That, that connects north pole to south pole. So this is called prime meridian line or GM uh, prime green which mean time line or the prime meridian. So these prime meridian are not parallel. So so this is like this. So they are having the maximum distance. Uh, this is. 111 